It's here, snow in the Sierra, and it's making for some slippery roads. Take a look at this photo of a jackknife big rig on I-80 near Soda Springs. As we get deeper into fall and inch closer to winter, scenes like this on highways through the mountain passes will likely be more common, so be safe and take it slow. With the snow come the first chain controls of the snow season. Now, it was not a big storm, but it certainly left a mark. ABC 10's Garge Paul Sanga spoke to people who admit they were caught off guard. Tonight, traffic on Interstate 80 looking a lot better than it did this afternoon as this snowstorm catching some people off guard. Wet roads and accumulating snow is back in the Sierra tonight. So is the slow moving traffic. Caught me off guard. CHP Truckee reporting multiple spin outs and traffic collisions in the Sierra as the major freeway is dressed up in winter white. I was not delighted with it at all. The return of the wintry conditions forcing chain controls for the first time this season, catching many drivers off guard and chainless, like Jermaine Brown. I just went not even not even 15 miles, spent $500 um, to do this setup, you know, so I was not prepared for this. You know, I usually don't come in this area. It wasn't really that bad. David Parker drives through the Sierra every two weeks and believes chain controls were not needed if drivers just took a deep breath. If you just slow down, take turns, give each other room, there wouldn't be any problems, even if we had chains and it was two feet of snow on the ground. As the snow season is here, Parker buckling up for the next rounds of chain controls. You see a lot of accidents on the road. It's just inexperience, speed, and inattention. That's, that's the only two causes of any accident. Even though the chain controls have been lifted here in the Sierra, officials continue to warn people to drive slowly. So true, Garth Paul, thank you. And while we had snow in the passes, we had rain on the valley floor. Several people had minor injuries after this three car crash in the Arden area. It happened on Arden Way at Harvard Street. A reminder to take it slow, be safe out there when the roads on the roads when there's inclement weather. So true. So Carly, mm -hmm. is it over? How are things looking for tomorrow? Yeah, you know, weather conditions in terms of those wet roads, that snow, that rain, it's pretty much coming to an end now. Most of it tapered off around 8, 9 p.m. Taking a look at 50 Admire, still slick roads, but nothing falling. The one thing you should probably keep in mind tomorrow morning, now that we're getting some clearing happening out there, we may also start getting some areas of fog, especially with those wet conditions on the roadways and now looking at clearing skies that could start to impact roadways early on. Now we are seeing just the smallest amounts of showers kind of pushing through, but again, slight, slight, light, light flurries kind of pushing through areas of South Lake Tahoe and just north of Truckee there in south of Quincy. Otherwise, we are getting that clearing happening and we really had zero uh, measurable rain for some areas of Sacramento up to about two one hundredths of an inch, so very, uh, very light rain. And we will expect to see some better totals coming in tomorrow as well to get a better look at that. Upper 60s for the high today at 68. The average is 75 this time of year. And in the Big Mountain, backyard temperatures dropping now into these mid to upper 50s, low 50s in Marysville with 39 in Tahoe. We'll talk more about what to expect for the weekend ahead.